I want you to think about the people that you trust. Nice feeling, right? Now I want you to think about someone you don't trust. That's not a good feeling, is it? Trust is the foundation of any successful relationship, whether it be personal or professional. It is the glue that holds a team together, and it allows us to open up to others to share our thoughts, feelings, and ideas. But how do we cultivate trust through our connections with others? Well, over the course of this year, I've experienced both challenges and victories in building trust within teams. In fact, my experience with my success teams in Leadership Academy gave me an opportunity to reflect on how trust is built and then apply that in my own context as a Mustang volleyball leader. Let's go back to that feeling in your stomach where you're in a situation where you don't trust others. That is a feeling I'm familiar with from my club volleyball team that I was a part of last year. Like any team, there were drama issues. Straight up, no one liked each other, but we couldn't figure it out. We couldn't communicate to solve the issues and we couldn't rely on each other. I didn't feel like we had built the trust needed to become a successful team. I had to make a tough decision. I left the club. I signed on with a new team the next month and while I was able to remove myself from a negative environment, I now had a new challenge, building connections with players on a team who, were already ha who already knew each other. Has anyone here been the new person, either on a sports team, being at a new school, or even a new club? Well, I was the new kid, and I felt like an outsider. Everyone already knew each other and had made those important connections with each other from the previous season. Well, we got to spend five days together in Las Vegas, which was basically one large team building event. Every event was team focused, whether it was a meal, practice, game, or even walking the strip together. Because we were a Canadian team playing in the US, it felt like we had a more focused goal of becoming a more connected team and not just winning games. After eventually making those connections, I finally started to feel like I belonged on the team. I had a group of 12 girls that I felt comfortable with and had fun around. Not only did these connections help with the team dynamic, but it gave me friends that I could talk to outside of practice. These connections were only made by consistency, communication, and caring the three C's of trust. These values showed my team that I wanted to be someone that they could trust, consistently showing up to practices or games, communicating with them if we ever had any disagreements or issues with each other, and showing them that you cared enough about them as a person and not just someone you were obligated to get along with. I know from experience that being an outsider is hard at first, but if you're willing to put in the effort, you can create connections that will last a lifetime. Unlike my volleyball team, my success team in RVSLA was a bit different. All of us were new, and all of us were the outsider. Our teams were filled with people from different schools and from different backgrounds, so we didn't have very many connections with each other, which made it a bit awkward at the start. One of the first things I remember about our VSLA was our making a name and logo for our success teams. This was really the first time we got to learn about our own core values, as well as the ones we share with the people around us. I think this, this is when we really started to open up as a group, and it showed us that even though we didn't know each other too well, we still had some similarities that gave us connections. Even though those connections were small, they made a big difference in becoming a team. At our year one meeting at the Calgary Public Library, we got to experience, or sorry, we got to participate in a trust exercise. We each had a popsicle stick and had to hold them with, as a team with a single finger. The simplest idea of trusting the people beside you. You had to trust that they were all working towards the same goal and it wasn't just the people beside you. Everyone in your team had to be able to hold the popsicle stick. The only way you could successfully have completed the exercise was to trust the people around you that you may or may not have known. As we met more as a team throughout the year, we got to expand on those core values that we established in the first meeting. We got to make those connections with each other by learning about each other's hobbies and interests. We, this let me know that we were becoming less of a group of outsiders to more of a team of leaders. Finally, I'm going to talk about my high school volleyball team. I go to George McDougal, go Mustangs. And this year, I was a senior on the JV team. It was my second and last year playing on that team, so I got a chance to welcome the new athletes. And for the first time, I wasn't the outsider. So I knew I had to make sure that these girls felt safe and welcomed. I didn't want them to feel like I did on a new team because I knew how hard it was to not know anybody. I wanted to create a culture of trust, one where everyone was included and no one ever felt like the outsider. This year, the team was made up of mostly grade nines, with only two of us returning from the season before, myself included. I thought that it was going to be difficult for the team to gel because not very many of us had played with each other before. Boy, was I wrong. Every single girl on the team was so incredibly kind and looked out for each other. I've never been part of such an amazing group and I'm so thankful for them. But this trust between each other had to be built and kept through the three C's of trust. We had to show up to practice every day to pr prove to each other that we wanted to be there. We had to make sure that we were 
communicated through any issues or disagreements we may have had with each other, and we all had to care and look out for each other. Throughout the year, we, our school had one major rival, Cochrane. We were one and two in every tournament and even in the RVS League. The trust that we had built throughout the season helped our play, play our best game against them, one where we could play cohesively and successfully, proving that a significant amount of trust can be built over time. In conclusion, trust through, trust through connections is a vital component of any successful relationship or team. By embodying authenticity, active listening, reliability, empathy, and consistency, we can pursue trust with others to create more profound and meaningful connections, to build trust with everyone in our life. Remember to take the time to connect, communicate, and care, because it matters.